Welcome to Christian Statesman. I'm your host, Zach Wagner, and this is episode 96, The Cost of Awakening. Years of research and spiritual awakening have brought me to a point where I am forced to see things clearly, recognize the events around me for what they really are. What is the cost to cut through the illusions, the carefully crafted lies and deception, to come to see the reality of our situation? Is there any recompense for the realization that all of the years of education, work, and ambition are directed at a goal that is impermanent, in a system that no longer values our input for any esoteric reason other than consolidation of wealth and power for the few? What comes of realizing that you, as a free person, but not as free as you initially thought, are having your options gradually limited to the point they will soon be strangled out of existence? What occurs when you gain clarity that the powerful that run the system around you no longer want you around, classify you as a useless eater, and begin their great culling of mankind in fulfillment of their dark and antagonistic visions? And even further, how do you feel when you come to grips with these evil impositions, but the great majority of your friends and colleagues are still hypnotized, hanging their spiritual heads in a dreary, unending slumber? What happens when your clear and unbiased assessment of the situation around you actually makes you dangerous when you realize the Wizard of Oz is just a man behind the curtain? The illusion is smashed and the cover is blown. If you are over 50 years of age, you were born into a world that was still very much filled with the operatic beauty of La Boheme. Somewhere along the way, the theater owners dropped a curtain in front of the orchestra and grand stage and started showing Rocky Horror Picture Show. If you are watching carefully, it will be clear to you that Tim Curry is no substitute for Luciano Pavarotti. The feckless substitutes being handed us for a civilized, free society today clearly delineate our accelerating decline. Is there any compensation for the heaven-sent blessing of clear and increased understanding? A source of wisdom, perhaps, that marks one as mistakenly disturbed or delusional in the eyes of those who are truly deluded. Perhaps, if one can turn to the ultimate advocate and judge of all, a brief glimmer of hope is offered. When Jesus teaches us to pray the Lord's Prayer in Matthew chapter 6, he reminds us, after addressing our prayers to the proper source of our Father in heaven, that we should hope for, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. We are stuck in the grasp of earthly kingdoms that resemble less and less of anything heavenly, and it is not a healthy feeling. Is there hope in wishing for God's kingdom to come forth as has been promised? Is it absolutely crazy to believe that God is able to do such a work and, as John reminds us in the book of Revelations, that God will level Babylon and usher in his kingdom under the reign of his son, our true king? Might I suggest that a confirmation to one's mind and heart and spirit that not only is such a thing possible, but is probable, is a source of true hope. For Jesus reminds us that heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. If Christ is truthful, and it is a sure bet he is, the coming of that kingdom is inevitable, and it will, like a stone cut out of a mountain without hands, roll forth, subduing all other powers before it. Thus is the great reward of awakening, to understand that the intrigues of men have an expiration date, a point at which God steps up and says basically, enough of that, I will take it from here. And so the hope of the awakened, the focus of the enlightened, will and must be turned to the promises made across the generations by the prophets and inspired men of every generation precedent. And true hope, which lies not in money, men, or earthly powers, is prayerfully and patiently awaited by all who have been moved upon by the Spirit of God. To see that blessed day makes the price paid in getting there worthwhile. Thank you for being with us today. Please subscribe, and as always, have a blessed day.